Hey, it's Elizabeth Pounce of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're gonna do a keto Walmart snacks haul and keto desserts or something sweet on keto. Come join me while I show you all my keto sweets, keto snacks, and keto desserts. Coming up next. Hey guys, it's Elizabeth Pounce of Low Carb, and on this video, we're gonna go through and talk about keto desserts and keto snacks. All things sweet, all things keto for the ketogenic way of life. If you want to have a keto snack or an LCHF, low carb, high fat snack, just make sure you give this video a like and make sure you click subscribe. Put Keto Walmart down in the comments below so I know to do more Walmart videos just like this one. Now I can't do a keto dessert and a keto snack haul video without talking about my favorite keto snack which is the fried cheese. It's so good. It's so delicious. I just try it in baking grease. I have plenty today so I don't need this one but just as an example so you can see what it looks like. Some heavy cream. Heavy cream is a huge staple for keto dessert or vegan keto dessert um, because you can mix it with so many things. You can mix it with almond extract, lemon extract, you can mix it with berries, you can mix it with um, swirl sugar, stevia sugar, most um, sweetener. You can mix it with a whole bunch of things to get a whole bunch of different outcomes with it and it tastes so good. Just limiting to make sure again dessert's not having too too much of the heavy whipping cream. Just let you guys know there is a sugar-free heavy whipped cream. Looking great. I'm not gonna get it because I like to make my own, but this is, is an option. Just make sure you're checking the ingredients to make sure there's not creepy parts in it. Guys, so I'm gonna go through and talk with you about a bunch of different keto snacks, keto desserts. If you want something sweet, I do like to give the disclaimer of too many sugar-free products or too many snacks is gonna stall your weight loss, at least in my 67-pound keto weight loss journey. Um, for keto and intermittent fasting, I have had too many sugar-free products and that has stalled out my weight loss. So just to give you a little disclaimer to make sure that you're careful not to have too many sugar-free products. So I'm getting some of the ricotta cheese. I did check the ingredients versus the Italian brand that's here. The Italian brand has four grams of sugar. And this has, for a fourth a cup, two grams of sugar. So I got the less sugar amount in it. And the ingredients look good. It looks like there's no questionable ingredients in it. This can be mixed with a lot of sweeteners, like um, your almond extract and some other extracts, or some chocolate chips in them. That would be really, really good too to make it sweet. Actually, for desserts, we can have cheese for dessert. So any of these cheeses would be awesome. Just making sure you're watching your dairy portions, that you're not having too much dairy, um, so that can lead to weight loss dolls. Here is the stevia aisle. You just need to double check in the ingredients that there's not malodextrin added. If malodextrin is added, it is a thickening agent, considered a higher carb, and it would not be good to put in, say, um, your heavy whipping cream or into your ricotta. So this would be the stevia, a great choice to get. Or they do have liquid stevia drops, but again, let's check the ingredients because you never know with creepy carbs being added into it. If there's some sort of, I'm not seeing anything bad in the ingredients in this one, put in the comments below if you've seen other ingredients that might be not as good to have in it, but this would be another great choice to squirt it in. Again, being mindful of your keto desserts, not to have too many sugar-free products, and being using minimal as you can to include it with them. I also have here, there's pecans that are another great, you can um, slice pecans, slice almonds, or crush pecans on top to give it kind of a textury, thicker taste if you put on top of your heavy whipping cream or just by themselves. You could easily take some pecans, mix it with a little bit of a stevia, monk fruit, swerve, just a little bit, and then mix it with some cinnamon to have like roasted pecans. It's really, really a great treat, which I personally done when I wanted to have roasted pecans for the holiday season. So here's the awesome pecan house I was talking, talking about where you can mix it with stevia and also mix it with some cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg. These are great, you can use the chopped ones or the pecan halves are the best. This is 10 bucks for, 10 bucks for one pound, 16 ounces. Good price relative to other places. The next thing that I wanna talk about is gonna be our sugar-free Jello. Some people do consider these keto, I don't. I consider that a low carb dessert, a low carb snack. Therefore, I'm really not gonna include it in today's video, but you could have for low carb, a sugar-free Jello versus a regular Jello just because of the contents and the carb ingredients added into it. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and I'll now I like to have as an awesome keto dessert using the organic cacao powder. You can put that in a whole bunch of other things, like your heavy whipping cream, just add a little chocolatey flavor to it. Um, it is a different flavor than chocolate though. <laughs> it does these different. But you can also 
You can also get the chia seeds here. I've done a uh, keto oatmeal that's really, really good. I'll put that in the description link below. Um, but the chia seeds make an awesome overnight keto oats. It's really, really good. It's a great, easy keto snack, keto breakfast. Super, super simple. Um, you could sweeten it if you wanted to, but quite frankly, I haven't found the need to. You could put cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, something folly or uh, wintery into it to make it a heartier breakfast. But these are another great things to slightly tweak than having a keto dessert or something keto sweet to make it more of a heartier keto snack um, or a heartier keto dessert. So another awesome dessert is the berries. I definitely include this as a keto dessert. If you want a really sweet keto dessert, bring the strawberries, raspberries, or blackberries. Just be mindful of the portions that you're not having too, too many. These are an awesome keto dessert and also awesome keto snack. If you want something on the go, it's a great one to grab. So I've been trying to find spaces to talk while I'm here and it's been really difficult. It's super busy apparently. I don't know why it's super busy here today. So hopefully you guys are getting the main things that I would love that I personally enjoy is having berries like strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, or to add high fats into that, I will make a strawberry fat bomb, which I'll put in the description link below. I love strawberry fat bombs. They're awesome to freeze so you can make it once and then have it for the whole month. Just be mindful of your sugar-free content because sugar-free products on keto can stall your keto weight loss. If you're having too many keto desserts or too many keto snacks, it can stall your weight loss. The next thing is, the next LCHF snack or keto dessert that I personally love is ricotta with some chocolate chips. I walked all over the store to find Lily's chocolate chips and they don't have them here at Walmart. <laughs> So I'm going to put the link down below for Amazon does have lilies and those are great keto, keto approved, <laughs> keto approved chocolates. Again, just not having too many, but also keto, the chocolate chips can, they don't taste like regular chocolate. So you can put those on top of ricotta and then it will taste like, kind of like a cannoli. If you like cannolis, our family, we love cannolis. So those are a good substitute. The next thing that I like to have is heavy whipping cream. You can have heavy whipping cream with so many different options. Literally, one container of heavy whipping cream. I happen to get the organic brand, but one container of the heavy whipping cream you can put with um, almond extract, lemon extract, vanilla extract, or you can put it with like monk fruit, stevia, swerve. I could not find swerve here or monk fruit. I will put that in the description link below too. Um, you can also just have it regular heavy cream, like I've done that before. You can have heavy cream with berries. I've mashed up strawberries or I've just sliced strawberries super thinly and put those together kind of like an ice cream treat. Freeze it for a little bit to make it a little bit harder. That's one option, but using heavy cream is so diversified. Or you can, using heavy cream, you can make it so diversified to have so many different options as a keto dessert or a keto snack. That's super simple if you're wanting something keto sweet something really sweet on keto, this is a great solution for people. But again, just being mindful that you can have weight loss stalls as a result of it. By the way, have you noticed how many people don't care if they're on camera? It's fascinating to me. I'm fascinated how many people just walk in the shot. They don't care. It's funny to me. <laughs> and to have too much. Make sure you don't have too many sugar-free products and make sure that you don't have too many keto snacks in your meal. And if you want to see Walmart more Walmart Keto videos, put down in the comments below Walmart Keto so I know to do more videos just like this one. Oh, I do like to give a disclaimer at Walmart. I don't purchase everything because that's not me being a good financial steward. Obviously, these are just suggestions. If you find other things at Walmart, the question of the day is I would love to see down below, what is your favorite thing from Walmart? What do you love to get? 